in the day, I was working with some things, then a heavy wood fell on my right leg, on the top of my feet, foot there. And the pain started gradually. I even took pain killer in the morning when it happened around 11. But unfortunately, instead of the pain reducing, it kept increasing, increasing to the point that I couldn't bear it any longer. And I had to stay in bed. In fact, I couldn't move again. Even when I wanted to go and ease myself, it was impossible for me to go into the bathroom. But when the program started by 5 o'clock, by the grace of God, I was in bed. I connected online with my phone. And while I was listening to it, the pain was so severe. I was turning left and right. I didn't know where to put the leg. Eventually, when it was time for prayer, our daddy in the Lord mentioned my case. He said, you that have blood clotting or nerve damage and severe pain and swelling, that it should vanish. And immediately, I received my healing. Because what happened was, after the prayer, I said, let me even test myself. I got out from bed, and because I couldn't match the, uh, the foot on the ground before, I was able to walk to the bathroom. Praise the Lord. Amen. Everybody say, vanish. vanish. Your problem will vanish. Amen. Tonight, it will vanish. Amen. Let's listen to the next testifier. The next testifier is Mr. Emmanuel. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Onyele Kunum Emmanuel. I am from uh, um, I'm of the um, Limbu group of districts under Origwe Old uh, Region. Sorry, or, 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 under Origwe Old Group. And I am born again by the grace of God. I came here on Saturday, that, that was on 24th, to give a testimony after the message of our general pretendant of what happened to me on, during the Great Transformation Crusade of 2022 in December. And as soon as that testimony was over, when I left, I had a touch of the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, and what was the touch? Actually, there was a problem I have been have, having, and that problem started since 20, uh, 2004. And it was an abnormal uh, salivating in my mouth. That means an ordinary human being has saliva in his mouth that he swallows. But this one would just be coming out in some, uh, inside my mouth, and it would be too much that I cannot swallow it. So I have to be spitting frequently. Sometimes my wife will ask me, why are you always spitting like that? And I say, this is a problem I'm having. And whenever we have problem, I mean a program like this, I, she will tell me, lay your hands on that place. And I've been doing that, but there, there wasn't a healing at that time. So, but when we came on that Saturday, and after giving the testimony, as soon as I left, I felt that warmth that God touched me. And on Sunday, the next day, being 25th, I began to notice that that thing was no longer happening. I was no longer spitting like that. and. All, even up to this morning, and I, I called my wife. I said, I think I've received a miracle. I'm no longer having that problem again. No, I'm going to give testimony today. Praise the Lord. This is a problem of 19 years, 19 years, start from 2004 down to today. Praise the Lord. Put Amen. your hand together for Jesus. <laughs> Before the next testifier, please, as you just get your own miracle, stand and come to my right so that we'll give you opportunity to share your testimony because the power of God is moving, the man of God has prayed, 
and your miracle is there. Once you discover your miracle, please come to my left here. We'll give you an opportunity to share your testimony. Others are there. We will hear your own testimony. The next testifier. The last testifier, Mr. Emmanuel, had excessive salvation of 19 years. But he had a touch of God after the prayer of the man of God, our pastor. And all the thickness of the foaming of the mouth and salvation were all gone. By my rights, I have Mr. Jewel F. Young, who has a testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sorry, I'm Brian Manuel Wire. I'm back here to return all glory to God for what he did in my life. June 2022, um, right at this very tomb, the right, at my right hand, I was walking in the garden, and then uh, I don't know what happened to it. It became stiff. And so I tried to move it. The pain was much. So the GCK of that June 2022, 2022, I was in church, in a state church, um, or maybe the region, and then I lifted it up to God. And through the prayer of the man of God, the, the, the stiffness of the tongue on my right hand ceased, immediately it vanished. And from that time to this time, I can move the tongue very well. Praise the Lord. I was here on Saturday by the grace of God, and I came with a lot of requests. And one of, that, the, one of them that I came here with was something that came out from the nose ring, I mean from the nose here, over a month. I tried to pull it out, but it remained the same. It's as if it's growing. On Thursday, when the GCK started, I was at work. I tried to remove it because it was irritating me, seeing it through my eyes. I, I, the shadow of whatsoever. And so I said, this thing cannot remain the same. And since I come into this program with a lot of requests, this is just part of the request that God needs to touch to really signify that it's going to answer the prayers and coming here with. And so that Saturday I was here, and then on Sunday I was here with my children, and I told my wife, look at this. And then he gave me some ointment, which I put yeah, right there, but it still remained the there. Money. Prayer of the man of God came on Sunday, and I placed my eyes, hands like this, to my eyes, and then another finger to, my, to that very point. And as a man of God prayed, I believe it, because it had to dry off. I went back to work on Monday, and then tried to check on the mirror on, in the car, and then when I got to work, I also looked at it. I said, this thing, you are still there. But I still believe God had done the miracle already, because it was not as dark as it was again. And then right in the office, I say, come, this thing had to go out. And so I used my finger to work on it. What had been there, difficult to remove it was there. But simply as I used my finger on it, it went off. And inspiration came to me that this is just a miracle. Praise the Lord. Because it had been for over a month, it didn't go out. And I come that after the prayer, it went out. That text me, it's a miracle. I've come here to return all glory to God for what he has done. Praise the Lord. Amen. We shall go online to hear what God is doing across the globe. On this final day of the GCK, we're seeing great miracles by God, as Brother Adefisoye Damilari Philip from Ondo State, Nigeria, wrote, Hallelujah, neck pain joined with back pain is gone. I have checked and rechecked. This is indeed a miracle. From the YouTube page, we have a buried David. He is thanking God for supernatural freedom from ulcer, back pain, and chest pain. Praise the Lord. And next, from YouTube, Salem Nadi wrote, I have been having seizure of the leg and ulcer for a month now. 
but since two days I haven't taken drugs concerning the ulcer. After the prayer of the man of God, today I'm healed. From the GS Facebook page, we have John Pocolo who wrote, Praise the Lord, I have been having leg pain for some time now. But after the prayer of the man of God, I received my healing and I don't feel the pain anymore. Praise the Lord. We also have on the DCLM YouTube, Oluwatosi Mobolaji wrote, I suddenly developed chest pain one day before the crusade started. I was scared because I know someone who was in the hospital admitted because of this. But now, the pain is all gone. Praise the Lord. From YouTube, Felix Anikberry is thanking God for delivering him from acute headache after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. We now take you to Calabar for a live broadcast. Church, praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Beatrice Okora. I'm from Cross River State, Calabar region precisely. I want to thank the Lord so much for his mercies and for his faithfulness for my life. Since I gave my life to Christ, I've been a testimony. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for what he did for me in this crusade. On Friday night, I went to the crusade ground, very healthy. But at the end of the crusade, as I was going home, as I wanted to open the car, my car to enter, I felt a sharp piercing pain go through my heart. I, I bent and said, what type of pain is this one? So I opened the car, I entered, Another brethren that I normally pick, they came into the car, I drove to the house. My brother went immediately, I entered the house. It was something else. The pain grew worse, radiating from my chest to my back to my ribs. It was excruciating, excruciating pain. Throughout that Friday, breaking to, uh, into Saturday, I couldn't do anything. Throughout the night, it was very painful. That even around 2 a.m., I have to go to my kitchen. I boil hot water, put in the cup. I sat on my bed. I was sipping. was to no avail. The pain was there, very, very painful. But on Sunday morning, I managed to go to church. I tell the devil, church, I will not miss church. So I went to church. I was there. I partook in the Sunday worship. I went home in the night. That is in the evening uh, for the crusade. I was there on the crusade ground. Brethren, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On the crusade ground, during prayer, when our father and the Lord, after ministration, our father and the Lord came up. As his normal, uh, 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 his way is, he said we should lay hands where we have a challenge and put one hand up. I raised one hand up and put the other hand right through my chest. I prayed. I said, God, that is supernatural freedom through Christ. It's my portion today. My brother, I prayed as I was praying. Our father and the Lord was praying. Tears was rushing down my eyes. I said, this pain, I cannot go with this pain anymore. My dear brethren, just at the final amen, just at the final amen, the pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. I went, I checked myself. I went home. Till today that I'm standing, all pain gone. I said, to God alone be all praise and worship in Jesus' name. I want you to believe God for your miracle. I want to thank our Father and the Lord. God will give you more grace, more power anointing to continue to help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Church, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. My name is uh, Sister Gertrude Ignatius Ukukong, and here is my daughter with me, Sister Deborah Ukukong. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I am saved. And I want to give Almighty God the glory, the thanks for the, power, the, the miracle he performed in the life of my daughter yesterday. Praise the Lord. We left the house to the crusade ground. Where it's so close to the house, we trek down. And so, because she loved to see GS, whenever we have crusade like this, she went to the front and sat in front while I was 
behind. So after some time, I just turned my eyes. I saw her limping, going down. So I thought I knew very well she was going to ease herself. So I didn't give her attention. But after some time, I still looked back. I saw her on the ground. That drew my attention. I quickly ran to her. What I picked her up, what happened? That her left leg is paining her. She cannot move. She wants to go and pee. What happened? She don't know. At first, I was like, what is the problem? I was somehow confused, but I, I said, we are on the crusade ground. Satan, we are going to meet at the final amen. Praise the Lord. Whatever you have come here to do in the life of my daughter, you have failed. You have come at the wrong time and in the wrong place. Church, praise the Lord. So when I took her down to East Asset, I discovered she could not even bend down to do it. She was just screaming when I tried to persuade her to bend down. She was just screaming and shouting, serious cry. So I had to back her, came back to the auditorium. So I went with her to her seat. I sat after the, uh, our father in the Lord gave the message. And then it was time for prayer as usual. You, we, he said we should raise up our one hand and then place the other where you have the challenge. So I was telling God, today is my own testimony. Others have been testifying. Today is my turn. Praise the Lord. I put my hand, I continue saying, Father, tonight is my testimony. Give me my testimony tonight. And at the final amen, when we were asked to check up, praise the Lord, church. I moved and I asked her to follow me. She started following me. Somebody who could not even put the leg down, that she had to fall down, she could not get up. She was now walking. I took her around the crusade ground. She was okay. And that is how God gave me my own instant miracle yesterday. I said, may his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. And our Father in the Lord, whom God has been using to give us miracles of healing and uh, uh, deliverance, God will continue to keep him for more miracles for us in Jesus' name. We now return to the moderating overseer. The next testifier, please. Go ahead. Church, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Friday Kenneth Savior. I'm from Rumolumini, Iwafe District. For past three years, I've been having waist pain. And at the same time, it's affected my knee. And I have headache. So on Friday, when I came in here, the man of God prayed for us. So after the man of God prayer, I got my instantaneous healing. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. I worship God. The next testifier, please. Our next testifier is Florence Walla. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Our Lord is good. My name is Florence Wan. OB District Church, old group, Job. So I thank God for what God has done for me. First of all, I thank God for my life, God that keeping me and my family. I say, may the, the name of God be glorified in Jesus' name. I thank God as we come for this uh, program. Thursday, Friday, how I just pray concerning those that are uh, working, no promotion. So I claim that prayer. I say, God, you give me my promotion because I pay my tithe. I do not eat any of them. 
you will give me promotion and you, you are the one give me this job. So I came yesterday morning, they called me, they want me to come for office. They give me all the promotion. They released to me all the promotion that denied to me. May the name of God be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody shout promotion. Shout again promotion. All your delay promotion will be released in Jesus' name. Church, praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, my name is Sister Lillian Ihuama. I'm from Imo State, Abombise, local government. By God's grace, I may be been born again. Since this, my testimony is, since this GCK Global Crusade started, the Lord has so good to me. During the GCK Global Crusade, of uh, Ebadan, so God saved me from the accident in my village. So moto hit me face to face. So the driver ran away. People gathered, help me, I wake up. The driver didn't say that I have died. Nothing touched me, even my machine. Praise the Lord. Another testimony is around February, this year, 2023, when I woke up in the morning, I noticed that this is my hand. It looks like stone is inside, like stone or anything, any like nail, nail. There inside is my hand. So I can't do like this. So uh, every morning I used to go morning cry. So when I go, I pray, say, God, this is the hand I use to carry mega food. Please heal me. But by God's grace, I did not take any drops. I know that the God I'm serving is a miracle God. This thing is still disturbing me, disturbing me every night, even in the night. I used to carry it. I'm Sister, can you conclude your the Lord. testimony? I believe God that one day God will heal me because I know that it's the work of devil. So during this GCK Global Crusade for this protocol, I decided to watch my town, but Spirit of God ministered to me when I come back from morning cry on Thursday. Spirit of God ministered to me that I should go for protocol. So on Friday morning, I come from I come for protocol here for this GCK Global Crusade. Praise the Lord. So um, this thing is still disturbing me. Every time they do my hand like this, they do my hand like this. I don't know what is the inside there. So I know say it's the work of devil. So on, on, Saturday, on Sunday evening, when the prayer of the man of God is moving, he said, anywhere you have challenge, put hand on top. So I am shaking my hand like this and tell God, say, this case, I will not carry it and go. Now you bring me here. So immediately, I am turning my hand like this. It looks like something Co go out from here. It looks like a ice block inside this, my hand. Since that day, this my hand, I am moving it around. Go and enjoy around, your miracle. Around. Go and Praise your miracle. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So, children of God, 
Follow we'll go me online now to Lord hear testimonies from the globe. Is it for me? Take you to Abuja for a live broadcast. My name is Salabi Ayodeji Olorumeye. I thank God for what God did for me. Uh, actually, in 2020, I was diagnosed of uh, diabetes, and uh, it was so traumatic. I was told the sugar level went up to 18 points and above, and uh, it was so uh, so serious that um, to bring it down to six points was very difficult but um, uh, I thank God that uh, God eventually took control uh, it was hectic on me I found it difficult even to see because my I had blood vision I was having a frequent urination a lot of headaches and a lot of problems associated with that uh, but uh, at the GCK June edition of this year, uh, God used our pastor, the GS, the servant of God, to pray for us. And uh, through that prayer, I became healed. And the sugar level came down to even lower than the normal rate. Uh, but uh, I thank God that even up to now, the sugar level is stable. Up to this morning, uh, there is no problem about uh, uh, diabetes again. Then also, I also had the ulcer. This ulcer uh, is associated with excruciating pains. I couldn't eat anything, uh, cassava. If I take gari, it was difficult, and uh, my stomach would be aching and uh, be uh, jerking me and all that. So, but I thank God also that at the, the GCK program of uh, August, that is uh, the triumphant power at Tondo, God healed me through the prayer of the man of God. I became totally healed. And now I am okay by God's grace. And uh, all those things are over now. I want to use this opportunity also to uh, tell everybody that God is still working. God is still alive. As you believe the prayer of the man of God in this edition of GCK this month, the Lord God Almighty is going to heal you. God is going to do wonders in your life. And I want to also thank God for our Father in the Lord, our, the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, for this GCK. God bless you in Jesus' name. Indeed, the power of God is touching life as we bring you this testimony from YouTube. Inia Bong Sunday is saying, I thank God for healing me from a severe stomach pain that persisted for almost a week. I got my healing after pastor's last amen last night. Glory be to God. And also from YouTube, we have Ewa Prince who wrote, I have been suffering from a disease termed recurrent patella tendonitis by the doctor. But after the prayer of the man of God, the pain stopped. Praise the Lord. I can tell you the power of God is touching lives as pain are being rolled out and, and they are disappearing. Praise Tyre from YouTube said, I had the severe pain around my chest for a while, uh, but during the pastor's message, while he preached on Sunday evening, he said he believed God and keyed into the prayer of the man of God. He said, after the prayer of the man of God, the pain disappeared. Glory be to God. And from the GS Facebook page, we have Oluwa Shewu Ogu Sheye who wrote, I want to thank God for what he has done for me in the course of this GCK June edition. I used to have heart palpitations, but God, through the prayer of the man of God, has healed me. Praise the Lord. From YouTube, Enoch Bellows, and praise the Lord. My daughter has been having itching eye, and this got him worried over, over a time. But after the prayer of the man of God this evening, he said, the itching eye stopped. Praise the Lord. From YouTube, Deborah Odubayo wrote, I want to thank God for the miracles he has done for me. In this crusade, 
I had been having a kind of constricting feeling in my chest since around last year, December. But on Thursday, I got my healing. Praise the Lord. Sister Blessing from Iju Group is saying, Praise the Lord. The Lord has healed me completely. He said, I'm healed completely of malaria fever, chronic headaches, and low PVC. Immediately after the pastor prayed, everything disappeared. Praise the Lord. From YouTube, Julius Oluwo wrote, uh, God has healed me completely of malaria fever, chronic headaches, and low PVC just immediately after the pastor prayed. Praise the Lord. Grace is also testifying and saying, praise the Lord. I received divine strength and healing on my right ankle. Said she sustained a fracture, but after the prayer of the man of God tonight, she received a healing. Praise the Lord. And now we return to the moderating overseer. Praise the Lord. Shall we be on our feet as we worship God with the orchestra? Thank God for what he has done. Let's join the orchestra to worship God. Everywhere. Let's praise the Lord. The Lord is good. Open our mouth and bless the name of the Lord for a visitation. Indeed, the Lord has blessed our soul. The Lord has visited us. The Lord has touched our lives. Let's give him the glory and praise for what he did in this June edition of GCK. Supernatural freedom to Christ. He has given us freedom, and that freedom will be permanent. Let's thank God for our Father and the Lord. God used as a channel of blessing to wipe away tears from our faces, take away sorrow from our heart, lift all the burden we have been carrying. Let's pray for him that the Lord will renew his strength and use him mightily in this generation. July edition is coming. The Lord will prepare him and use him to bring succor to all. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Father, we give you the glory and praise for the way you visited us in this June edition. You frustrated all the plan of the enemy, and you gave your church victory. May your name be glorified in Jesus' name. And the victory you have given to us will be permanent. Those you have saved, those you have healed, those you have restored, those you have delivered, we intend your miracles in Jesus' name. We've prayed for our Father and the Lord, asking and praying that more of your grace will be upon his life. Lord God, we thank you for the leadership and the workers and members of River State Deeper Life Bible Church. Lord God, all that they've done to make this program a success will not be in vain. Reward them abundantly in Jesus' name. All the instruments you use, the calling stars, the orchestra, the technical crew, 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 crew from Lagos and uh, from uh, South South, all those that made this crusade possible, Father, bless them tremendously in Jesus' name. Lord God, I ask and pray that as you allow the shower to come upon us, that's how blessing will come upon us. That's how miracle will come upon us. That's how re revival will be upon us. Lord God, nobody will be sick. Nobody will be weak. Nobody will be faint. Nobody will be discouraged. But rather the miracle you have given to us will spur us to serve you more in Jesus' name. We glorify your name because you have answered our prayers. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let's shout a freedom. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.
something great or precedented, something you never saw before is coming upon your life. Forgiveness, I have the freedom, I have the fullness by faith in Christ tonight. is going away now on you. You came here, I'm here. Everything is appearing now globally. Manifest the power that cannot fail. Lord, effect it right now. Demonstrate it right now. Manifest it in every life right now. Confirm the miracle power in everyone. Set everyone Jesus' name we pray. It's that time of the month again. It's JCK O'Clock. In Mark chapter 16, verse 16, Jesus said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every we're bringing the gospel to every creature. Mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers. Jesus the Savior, there is no another. Salvation from yonder, since chains break us under. Yeah. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of your shames, it will roll away. Even before the Jericho walls fall, we're shouting, we're praising the Lord. He will fulfill our expectation in Jesus' name. Look ahead, a new quarter beckons. The seventh month opens the dawn of possibilities. GCK is your conveyance unto Christ as this July offers you great moments of possibilities. And everybody will know you will say I know because I feel it in my body. I sense it in my soul. I see it in what he has done. The July edition of the Global Crusade with Kumuyi GCK. Old July 27 to August 1st 2023 at 1600 hours GMT daily. Live at Ogbomasho Grammar School, Okeowode, Ogbomasho. Or your state, Southwestern Nigeria. GCK. Seventh month special Sunday worship on Sunday, July 30, 2023. All 700 hours GMT. A special time for ministers, church workers, and professionals to be purged for more fruitfulness. A clear path will be set for youth, campus students, and young adults to go beyond limitations. The rejuvenated global choir will take you to the presence of Jesus in grand style. As we also bring you special guest music ministration by Jeff Deal from the USA. God's servant, our international evangelist, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi will be mightily used by God to reveal great possibilities through the power of Jesus Christ. Don't worry about anything, anything in your life, anything in the past, anything in the present. The touch of the Lord is coming upon everyone here in Jesus' name. He was blind. He couldn't see. He went blind. I think it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. I went back to the hospital, they checked me, they said there's no post-rate cancer. So they are, this is me, and they can see me, a, a grandfather, a, a, the joy in my life is so beautiful. 
So God bless. GCK. Lord. From Ogbobosho. Streams to the world via satellite and all our social media platforms. And will also be broadcast on radio and television all over the world. Coming from the Christ on the cross. Coming in from the Christ who rose up for your salvation and for your healing. Coming from the Christ that sits at the right hand of majesty on high. He will set everyone free. Christ has assured us of great possibilities ahead. So join us. GCK, the gospel to every creature.
this place, yes, you bring your case. Come on, everybody, take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace. No matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, papa, they come. Woke wine be ya. Mutu mata so Baba, ya, ewa. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of the shame you will run away. Oh, oh, oh. GCK Gospel to every creature Again, it's JCK O'Clock in Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Jesus said, Go ye into all the world and preach gospel to every creature. We're bringing the gospel to every creature. Mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers. Jesus the Savior, there is no another. Salvation from yonder since chains break us under. Yeah. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of your shapes, you will roll away. Oh, 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 hey, Jesus. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of your shapes, you will roll away. is for you the need to pay but you might have feel there is grace today Take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace. No matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, papa, they come. Walk a wine be ya. Mutu mata so Baba, ya, ewa. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of the shame you will run away. Oh, 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 oh. GCK Gospel to every creature Something great from President Something you never saw before is coming upon your life Forgiveness, I have the freedom, I have the fullness by faith in Christ tonight.
something is going on now. Cancer is going away now on you. Leukemia, hymia, everything is appearing now globally. Manifest the power that cannot fail. Lord, effect it right now. Demonstrate it right now. Manifest it in every life right now. Confirm your miracle power in everyone. Set everyone free. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Psalm 2, in verse 8, ask of me, and I shall give thee the hidden for thy inheritance, and the utmost part of the eight for thy possession. We are going to pray that this evening, as men and women who have not experienced the power of Calvary comes into this ground this evening, the Lord will open their understanding. And not only that, they will understand the gospel, they will believe the gospel, they have been saved, they will live here saved in Jesus' name. Open your mouth once again and pray for them. In Jesus' name we pray. In Psalm 114, in verse 1, the Bible says, When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah was his sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. They see saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains keep like rams, and the little hills like lambs. In verse 6, ye mountains, that ye skip like rams, and ye little hills like lambs. We are going to pray that as many as un are under any kind of bondage, tonight they are going out in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. No bondage will remain. No bondage will remain. No bondage will remain. Every bondage, the bondage of sin, the bondage of satanic oppression, the bondage of sicknesses, they are going tonight, this final night of the program, they are going. Talk to the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. You can do better than that. The Bible says the mountains keep like rams 
and the little heels like lambs. We are going to tell the Lord again that practically tonight, your mountain will skip. That literally something will fly out of your life. That this night will be a special night where miracles will rain like in abundance to all the participants here. In Jesus' name, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray for our general superintendents. In Luke chapter 21, in verse 15, For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay or resist. We are going to pray that the anointing will get to the zenith tonight. That no force, no power, no sickness, no disease will be able to resist the decree of the man of God in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. That the Lord will be with his mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. In Ephesians chapter 6, in verse 19, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. We are going to ask for our pastor once again that the Lord, through his spirit, will be upon him and he will make known tonight the mystery of the gospel. Christ in you, the hope of glory. That that will be done today in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Talk to the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. If you are prayed, say better amen this evening. We want to appeal to our brethren who were interviewed, but you have no opportunity to give your testimony before today that our brethren are waiting for you at the white canopy stand by my left-hand side. So you move there. God has done something for you at this program, but you now you are not given opportunity to testify. You have that golden opportunity this evening to do so. And so you move gently to where they are and you'll be testified and you'll be in test uh, you've been interviewed and at the end you will give your testimony to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Let's pray together now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless your name. Thank you so much for thinking about us and bringing this program to us. We exalt you. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. We give you all the praise in Jesus' name. We thank you for our generous pretendence that you have strengthened all through this program. And we are trusting more of your strength upon him tonight in Jesus' name. 
We are asking that you give him a mouth, that no power, no force will be able to resist in Jesus' name. That tonight there will be salvation, there will be deliverances, there will be miracles, like the rain and the dew from heaven upon our participants in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we believe you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Night, amen. Amen. I say final night, amen. Amen. Final night, amen. Amen. God will fill you to overflow tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. 
If you have been delivered, give me a resounding amen. Remember, this is the last night. Everybody say, last night. Hmm. This night is night of celebration. You will celebrate divine freedom. You will celebrate your salvation, your healing, your deliverance, you are miracles. Don't worry, don't be don't mind of what is happening now. That's a sign of miracle. That is how miracle will take place tonight. It will shower. It will rain upon us. It will drench us. This is night of miracle. In Psalm 50, verse 14, the Bible says, Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High. This night, we are going to offer thanksgiving to the Lord. We are going to pay vow of praises and worship to the Lord because of what the Lord has done in this crusade. In fact, our testimony will be like what is written in Mark chapter 7, verse 33. And we are beyond measure astonished, saying he had done all things well. Truly, in this crusade, the Lord has done all things well. He maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. Tonight, we are going to offer unto God worship, praise, thanksgiving. Even after the message administration, you will pay your vow of thanksgiving to God. But now, let's open our mouth and start worshiping God. Just open your mouth and give God thanksgiving. Offer praise to the Lord. Worship the Lord. Adore him. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Give him the worship. Open your mouth and let God hear you. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Father, we thank you for what you have done. Thank you for the manifestation of your power. We can see the sign that tonight will be the greatest night. Because you open heaven. As the rain is coming, your miracle will come. Your blessing will come. Healing will come. Deliverance will come. In Jesus' name. We thank you for our Father and the Lord, the convener of GCK. You have empowered him. You have loaded him. And tonight, you will use him to bring succor to the whole world in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we have answered our prayers. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Can you turn to page three of your program pamphlet? Page three. No other plea. My faith has found a resting place, not in device nor creed. I trust the ever-living one. His wounds for me shall plead. Enough for me that Jesus says, This earth my fear and doubt. A sinful soul, I come to him. He will never cast me out. My heart is leaning on the word, the written word of God. Salvation by my Savior's name, salvation through his blood. My great physician heals the sick. The lost he came to save. For me, 
his precious blood he shed. For me, his love he gave. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. As we remain standing, we shall go to the Lord in prayer. Tonight is the grand finale of this great program. So great that many lives are touched. We receive salvation. We receive sanctification, we receive healing, we receive miracles, testimony.